All right, you're listening to The Peach Pit. I'm here with Sasha Dunnable from the band Intronaut. New album, Fluid Existential Inversions, comes out February 28th. Sasha, thank you again. Uh, we're take two on this, but uh, I'm going to try to do better this time. Thanks for being here on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Uh, so I just asked you what you were listening to, what you're into. I'm not going to bother you with that question right now. Uh, let's just keep moving forward. Uh, so you guys wanted to take a little bit of time off before going into the next album. Were you all just kind of like feeling burnt out, like you just, like it was a total unanimous decision kind of thing? Yeah, that's exactly what it was. I mean, um, in 2016, we had a whole bunch of touring, at least, you know, for us, it was a lot. Um, and a lot of back-to-back stuff, and I think that originally we wanted to just jump right back in and make a new album, but by the time we got home, I think you know, it was kind of hard for some of us to get motivated. And we were getting busy with just life stuff aside from the band. And I thought maybe that I was personally just done with you know, doing a, a full-time band kind of situation uh, permanently, but... Um, we did decide to just take a year off, which ended up becoming a couple years. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, you know, it was super beneficial, I think, to take the time to just write music without any kind of deadline or anything like that. In a lot of ways, it sort of feels like the first first record all over again, you know? Yeah, I think that's a really wise decision to like take time to refresh and recharge. Like a lot of bands, they like, come off a tour, they get sent straight into the studio, and they just write a bunch of songs about being on tour. Right. <laughs> exactly, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's just. I've never wanted to be one of those bands for sure. So. Uh, so, like you say, you know, it just uh, it it really helped us. I think to make something interesting and uh inspired for sure definitely uh so for the last album the direction of last things you guys went into the album and just knocked it off in four days live uh what was your approach like coming into the new album uh this we went back to um you know recording everything separately uh especially you know since we had alex who lives um over in maryland um we're over on the West coast here in Los Angeles. Uh, we didn't really have a lot of time to jam all together before, um, uh, making the record. So we had to, um, you know, just bring them in and just, we wanted to give everybody a fair amount of time to get, get their takes right and whatnot. So everything was recorded separately, which I guess at this point is sort of more of a traditional approach to making a record than recording it live. Yeah, uh, but you guys seem to always be able to kind of vibe with each other, too. Like, it sounds like you guys are like an actual band. Like, you blend all your elements together so well. Uh, Was Alex, like, kind of like a new, like, fresh kind of vibe to bring into that kind of thing? Yeah, totally. He just wasn't, like, in a room with us when we were doing it is the only thing. But um, there was still a lot of collaboration, a lot of going back and forth, and he would write stuff in the computer, yeah, basically, and get his ideas down that way, and um, you know, we kind of just went back and forth editing the songs all together and whatnot. So, yeah. And so now that you guys are getting ready for tour, you're teamed up with Matt Lynch. Is that right? That is right. Yeah. Um, From Cynic yeah, Trio Skates. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, what was there anything about him that kind of piqued your guys' interest? Um, I was aware of his of him uh and his skills you know um and uh yeah we were talking to a few different people but he just seems to be the most uh he just seems to like he's probably a good fit i mean we'll see you know we're still got to try each other out we to be honest we haven't even really met before i mean we've we have met but never really like hung out so Oh yeah, you gotta have that hang vibe, especially since you're gonna be going out on the road together and everything. You gotta have that hang vibe, right? Exactly. Like, yeah, I don't know. It probably takes a special kind of person to be able to put up with three (laughs) guys in it or not. I I think anybody would be stoked to come on. Uh, And Matt Lynch too was an interesting (laughs) choice. Like, he's one of those guys that, like, you know, he goes so much behind the drum set, but it looks like he's not doing anything. Like, he's barely moving. Right, exactly, yeah. Makes it look easy. 
Yeah. So on the new album, I heard that you guys have been messing with some synths. Is this true? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Opeth um, eventually did it. Mastodon eventually did it. Have has Internaut ever considered having a keyboard player join the band? I would totally consider it. I just don't know anybody, uh, you know, worthy or who would be down. I, I just don't know any like good uh, keyboard players who also want to come on tour with Intronaut. Um Well, now we're putting the word out. Yeah. Anybody up there in Penticton want to hit us up? Let me know. Oh, I'm sure um, that you're going to get a lot of emails now, man. <laughs> There's a lot of metal guys around here, seriously. Is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, that's one thing that we kind of discovered. Yeah, I went, I've, been to, I've been to Penticton before, actually. My, uh, I got a bunch of family in B.C., and I went to, when I was a kid, I went to a hockey school there in Penticton one summer. No way. That's so yeah. cool. I mean, this is probably like in the 80s, but yeah, it's a long time ago. Uh, yeah, the last time I saw you guys was, though, in Vancouver when you guys brought uh, Cloud Kicker. You were supporting Tesseract, and you brought Cloud Kicker on with you, or should I say Not Kicker. Uh, that was yeah. really cool. And for this album, you brought in Ben Sharp again. He was featured on The Call. He even contributed a riff on Sour Everythings. So oh, is yeah. there any chance that maybe Not Kicker could happen again? Man, I hope so. Um, it would be great, but there, as of now, there is no plan to do it. Well, I mean, it's hard. It's all, Everybody's all, busy. All Ben. Yeah, it's up to Ben, you know. If he ever wanted to do it, we would do it, but... Um, you know, he's a father and a, uh, a working professional. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a daunting task, I think, to try and get a month off to go on tour. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so Intronaut, like, you guys are one of those bands to me that, like, from the very first song on Null up to now, like, you guys have always had this identifiable sound. You know what I mean? Like, you, you just know it's an internet song, even if you haven't heard it before. Was there any point along the way when you guys realized that as well? That, like, no, you I don't unique... think that I... No? <laughs> I mean, I guess I do realize that, but I don't really think about it. I mean, I guess there are things about internet that are distinct. Um, you know, like, fretless bass and... Yeah, I was actually much, just going to say much that. delay effect. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. It's not really something I try to think about too much. Yeah. You know, try not to get, like, caught up in the, like, the whys and the hows of why things work, you know. Just uh, but you're, you, you're try like, to let, let the gut do the work. Yeah, you can kind of shoot yourself in the foot artistically if you try to, like, analyze it too much or something, eh? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, all your music videos are really cool, by the way. Uh, the one that you just did for Cubensis, you teamed up again with Pat Lasku. Uh, it looks like you guys have been having a lot of fun making videos with him. What has that been like? Uh, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a real goofy, fun experience always with him. He's a mastermind behind those things. We just, uh, we just give him the song and tell him to make us something crazy. Well, it's perfect because I mean, it's, it would be a daunting task to try to think of a video that would fit some of your songs, but he he does it. Like in the video Cubensis, when the well, I don't I have a spoiler alert for a music video, but when you guys beat that guy up on the beach and then he finally gets up to go after his love, the music all changes and it kind of fits the mood, but not in like a sappy kind of a way. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree, man, for sure. I think the natural progression for you guys now is to write an album that will serve as the soundtrack to your own independent horror movie about a mutant cetacean. <laughs> no? Can only hope. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just got to put the bug in somebody's right ear. Uh, but you're already busy as a maker making Dunnable guitars, uh, which yeah. you guys are making your own pedals, your own amps now. At this point, are you playing like just exclusively your own gear? Um, a lot of it, yeah. I mean, guitars definitely, and uh, we made some amps that I've been using, and uh, some pedals too. I mean, I still use other stuff. There's still a lot of companies out there that I really like to use, but 
So definitely um, the stuff that I make is designed, you know, with this kind of music in mind generally. So, I mean, it, in my mind, it's sort of like the perfect tools for the job. But still at the end of the day, it's like whatever sounds good, like you're not like against using other people's gear. No, not at all. I mean, you know, there's a lot of great stuff out there. Um, and, you know, yeah, just like it's nice to have a little bit of variety, especially when it comes to like amplifiers and pedals and guitars. I don't know if I use other company stuff too much. Actually, that's not true. I used a Fender Telecaster on some parts on the record. I used an electrical guitar company guitar on some parts. But primarily it was all a, a Dunnable for sure. Uh, is it easy for a guy like you to get carried away while you're tone hunting? Yes. Uh, I've had to like kind of rein it in a little bit and try to like find different hobbies because you can, I can definitely get bogged down and like obsessive. And I think that sometimes that stuff can be counterproductive to like the actual creative process, you know? Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, sometimes you got to just like stop worrying about the stuff you're using and just like focus on playing guitar. Like I envy people that, don't give a shit about what kind of strings they're using or you know what kind of amplifier they're using they just want it to work you right. know yeah yeah some people um, can spend all day just talking about like what you know the inlay or the what kind of wood is on their fretboard and stuff exactly like dave timnick the other guitar player in intronaut he's like he doesn't care like he when I'm like, do you need like a, you want to bring like a second guitar on tour? He's like, why? Like, why do you need <laughs> two guitars? <laughs> it's like, you know what? You're right. Why do we need two guitars? You're absolutely right. Well, you guys, um, were, yeah, I mean, you seemed yeah. really on the ball. When I saw you guys playing in Vancouver, you guys came in with Killing Birds with Stones and Dave was playing that opening riff and there must have been something going on with the sound because I, ha I saw him like immediately fling off one of his, Ear, ear headphones on his ear and then start talking to a sound guy while still playing the riff at the same time and like pointing around telling him what to do so you guys know what <laughs> sounds good at the end of the day obviously yeah for sure well I don't think you guys are n needing any any more options you guys already have so much adventurous spirit in your music already I wanted to thank you again everybody this is Sasha Donable from the band Internaut Fluid Existential Inversions comes out February 28th Thanks for taking time to talk to us today. Absolutely, uh, man. Thank you. Awesome. I hope you guys come to Penticton soon. Me too. All right. Have a good day, man. Take care. All right, man. You too. Thanks. Bye.